Welcome back to another episode with Raiderly. Jeans are remarkable. They are so durable. Yeah, you get holes in the knees, but the fabric just keeps on going. After the knees give out, then it's time to cut out all the seams and reuse this fabric, upcycle it, as you saw with this epic trench coat, which I made from seven pairs of work jeans that my husbands and I had worn into the ground. This pair of jeans that I want to tell you about today goes all the way back to my freshman year of high school. They fit me perfectly my freshman year. I did wear them a lot in high school. What's funny is that part of the reason I don't wear them now is they're kind of loose on me. I was 13. I'd skipped a grade so I was younger than the other freshmen. They actually did not have this much extra space on them. They were very tight actually my freshman year and they continued to get tighter and I remember being like muffin talked over these pants when I was like 15 and 16 and when I was 16 I actually tore these pants out um, you can see right here so you can see that I actually tore these pants along the thigh that was from me being so fat that like literally like I would just go like this and there would be so much strain on the pair of pants that they would actually tear so I actually tore like almost all of my pairs of jeans when I was 16 along with thighs for that very reason because they were all just too tight for how much weight I had put on. I wasn't super conscious of the fact that I had put on quite so much weight though because I mostly was noticing how crappy I felt. Like I was having problems with my jaw locking up and not being able to open my mouth. I was having trouble with getting these weird uh, pimples that are called styes, where you get like a pimple right on the edge of your eyelid, so every time you blink it, it hurts. Like, I didn't know what it was. Like I was getting these chest pains and I was like all I knew was my chest hurt, but actually I was getting acid reflux all the time. So anyways, I had a lot of pain, I was in an abusive relationship, I was going to high school, I had to work after school. So it was like between high school drama, drama with my workplace, drama with my boyfriend, and all that kind of stuff. I was just like a mess. The last thing I needed to be thinking about was the fact that my thighs, thighs were getting fat. <laughs> and then when I was 17, that's when things really started to change and when I started to change my diet and I lost a lot of uh, weight when I was 17 very rapidly just by taking a bunch of crap ingredients out of my diet. Don't eat corn, maltodextrin, hydrogenated oils, refined sweeteners, etc. So I just took all that stuff out and then pretty much sat on my ass and played World of Warcraft and lost 30 pounds in 30 days. And then after that, these pants, they literally were just like, they would fall off of me. The ironic thing about the fact that these pants are so loose on me now is the fact that they were taken in three times. They were taken in on the thighs when I was 17 and again when I was 18, and they were taken in around the buttons to make the buttons tighter and they're still loose on me now, which just goes to show how different my healthy weight is from the weight I was at 16. A lot of people who see pictures of me when I was 16, they're like, oh, you looked healthy. You didn't look overweight. Well, I was 16, so I carried the weight very well. It was new weight, so it didn't like look old and saggy yet. And also, I wore a lot of makeup. I was very practiced at posing for photos. I sucked in my belly for photos. And on top of that, I also deleted the most unflattering photos like as soon as they were uploaded to my computer. So I don't actually have the most unflattering photos that really show what I looked like when I was just being casual. Okay, let's move on to what's important. There are three things I want you to take away from this video. Number one, fat loss can be easy and it doesn't require exercise. I lost excess fat while being entirely sedentary at the rate of a pound a day. You also don't have to count calories. There was a mistaken thought that fat loss is about calories in and calories out, but all substances you put in your mouth aren't equal. Many contribute to excess fat gain due to creating a microbiome imbalance or through taxing your organs in such a way that they no longer function the way they should. Many healing foods contribute to weight normalization through cleansing your organs and promoting a healthy microbiome. Number two, the most important reason to change your diet has little to do with how much extra fat your body has. Whether you're underweight, overweight, or a normal weight, the important thing is how healthy your mind and body are overall. I lost weight as an incidental bonus. I didn't even know I was overweight. What I knew was that I was in crippling pain and I was ready to do anything to make the pain stop. Giving up refined sugar, gluten, hydrogenated oils, corn, and non-organic foods was an easy price to pay for getting my life back. The pain relief started within a week, and so I kept going. 
When I tried reintroducing the problem foods, the pain came back. Hence, I committed to a healthy, organic, whole foods diet for life. Number three, jeans are awesome. They can help you realize when you've put on weight, they can last a lifetime, and if they do tear, you can upcycle them and give them a new life as a coat or anything else. If you're interested in videos about consciousness, psychology, health, nutrition, teeth remineralization, relationships, polyamory, and or neurodivergence, then subscribe. And let me know how you felt about this video by hitting that like or dislike button. Do you have a story about weight loss, getting healthier, or genes? Tell me about it in the comments. Also, you can leave any questions you have there. I love hearing from you. If you want to support my work directly, stop by my Patreon. I offer lots of exclusive content there, and I answer your toughest health questions. Once again, this is Raiderly, signing off.